Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial we're going to create this speckle paint floral peekaboo tumbler using some of the florals that come in the next Britney bundle releasing with gracefully created on March 1st of 2023. If you have been here before you know that these release once a month and we have switched up the pack just a little bit because we want to make it as most affordable to everyone as well as kind of giving you a balance in between the decals, the printed vinyl, and the white element sheets that normally come with them. So this one is three sheets of patterned vinyl, three decals, and three white element sheets, which are probably my favorite white element sheets that we have ever included in these bundles. And of course, as with every bundle that we have done in the past, I do my best to keep the color scheme sort of the same so that everything coordinates and you can mix and match all of your decals, your white elements, and your pattern vinyl. We're going to grab our artistry glitter glue and a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. I'm going to spread my glue all around using a cheap chip brush and then we are going to take Beast from PDB Creative Studio and go all over this tumbler. Once I have it completely coated, I'm going to knock off any excess by tapping the top of my tumbler and then roll it in the sheet of paper below so that we can flatten out that glitter and minimize the amount of epoxy and sanding we have to do to get this one nice and smooth. I do always spray seal my tumblers regardless of an ombre or a solid color glitter. It just really helps me get a better coverage with my epoxy and prevents any loose glitter from causing some friction and causing more micro bubbles on your tumbler even after you have torched. So I gave this tumbler two coats of epoxy and then headed over to design space and I created a shape the same dimensions as my tumbler. I imported this sunflower stencil and I'm sorry, this one I have had for almost three years now. So this exact one will not be linked below, but I will find one that is pretty close for y'all to use if you'd like. I just resized them and placed them all over my shape so I can see the layout before I cut them. It should have been a foolproof wrap and got it perfectly around. This one was not. I have no clue what I did wrong, but it caused me all kinds of trouble when I was trying to wrap it around the tumbler. I realized that my flowers weren't quite going to line up correctly, so I did about three quarters of this wrap and then cut off like three of the flowers and place them separately so that I can just line them up a little bit better than what they would if I would have wrapped it all the way around. My second coat of epoxy on this tumbler wasn't quite super smooth, so I lightly sanded it with a high grit sandpaper, which made it a little hard for this temporary vinyl to stick to. So not only was I having all kinds of trouble getting things lined up, the sunflowers weren't sticking, and for whatever reason, my transfer tape decided it was going to shred into a bunch of tiny pieces <laughs> instead of coming off all in one. After I got the sunflowers on, I did let this tumbler sit for at least a week and a half before I touched it again <laughs> because it was just such a pain.
once I finally decided to come back to this, I wanted to do a speckle paint. The way that I got this was taking three different color paints and going back and forth with them using a small short burst to get little bits of paint in all areas all over the tumbler, just kind of combining and blending them together. And then to get the speckle effect, you want to practice first and do make sure that you're outside or in a well ventilated area if you are inside. I spray painted this outside in the dark, so that's why I don't have footage of that, but I do want to show you how I got my speckle. Very, very slightly pressed down on the nozzle to where the paint barely comes out of the can and you will get the splatter effect. If you move it very quickly around your tumbler, it will be more sparse, like mine is on my tumbler. But after you finish this, do make sure that you hold that nozzle down to release a couple bursts of spray paint and then clean the nozzle off with some acetone or alcohol to remove all that excess paint that you got bubbled up from doing that splatter. After the paint has fully dried, you're going to remove all of your stencils. After all of my stencils are removed, I'm going to give this one thin coat of epoxy so that we can apply our white element florals to a glossy surface. Once I have all of my florals and my couple cute little bikes trimmed out, I'm going to trim off a little piece of the backing so that once I have it in the place that I want it on my tumbler, I can press down that exposed piece and then press the backing off as I'm pressing the decal down. This helps minimize any bubbles and really helps you get that decal laid flat onto the tumbler.
the past, I have avoided putting any of my decals towards the top or overlapping the top and bottom rim of my tumblers simply for the fact is I can't cut a straight line to save my life and I don't want any of my decals sort of bunching up over that curve. But since I have the Cami Page Boutique Vinyl Trimmer, I can adjust it to pull that decal a little bit up from the line. Just take it one spin around and trim a perfect line slightly below the top and bottom rim on any of my florals or pattern vinyl. After decals, it was time for our final two coats of epoxy. I did forget to add some filter from Colorflex into my epoxy before application, but that's okay. I just dabbed some of that all over my tumbler, spread it out nice and even, and you would never know. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will answer them as quickly as possible. As always, all of the materials that I have used in this tutorial will be linked in the description down below with some coupon codes for you. This bundle, once again, is from gracefullycreatedccd.com. They will release March 1st of 2023. I will have their website and my discount code listed down below for y'all. And make sure you're part of the Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr Art Group and the Gracefully Created Group to be updated with the release time. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.